Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a masthead in a similar style as you would expect to see on the front cover of a magazine or a newsletter for example, um, where you can see that the masthead or the title of the magazine is behind the girl in this image but in front of the background. And that's a similar technique you would expect to see that on a magazine or a newsletter. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is set the correct size for a magazine. So I'm going to go to File New and I'm going to choose 8 by 11 inches. So make sure it's set to inches, 8 by 11 inches is roughly the right size for a magazine and press Create. I then already have an image saved that I want to use. So I'm going to open that, which I'm going to go to File, Place Embedded. Okay, so you can see that my image of my girl is not um, filling the whole page and I need it to. So I'm just going to move it up a little bit and then drag one of the corners down a little bit. It didn't need much resizing, but that's roughly about the right size and position where I want it to be. Okay, so here's how you do it. You want to create a duplicate of this layer down here where the image is, because we're going to kind of create a text sandwich, a masthead sandwich, where we're going to sandwich the masthead or the title of the magazine in between two images. So I'm going to right click on that layer. I'm going to right click on the layer and I'm going to choose duplicate layer. So I now have two. So this one is it's just asking me what, 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 what I want to call it. So I'm going to call that top image press OK. Now I'm going to type using the text tool down here on the left hand side. I'm going to type my masthead. Um, I'm going to call it official again for the official magazine. And it's set to a, a perfect size, but yours won't be. So you're going to need to tinker with that. OK, so I've just highlighted the text and then up here you can change the text size so you can make it smaller or bigger in there. Remember to press enter. But then over here, this is a really cool little tool. Over here, this little um, option here will allow you to space out your letters. It's the tracking. So it'll allow you to space out the letters. If it's not exactly the width you want it to be, you can make it narrower. So I can make it a bit narrower. Can you see that? And then I can make it a bit wider. And it's important to pay attention to these little details because they really do matter in the end. So I'm just going to position that where I want it to be. Right, I said we were going to do a text sandwich. So here it is, here's our title, official. And I'm going to click at that layer and I'm going to drag it in between the two image layers. So we can see it's now sandwiched between the two of them. I'm going to click on my top image layer and I'm going to remove the background of this image and I'm going to use a really quick technique for this. Um, we're looking for the eraser tool. When you click and drag, you'll be able to choose the magic eraser and then I'll be able to tap the background. Now it's telling me that it must be rasterized first before I can move the background. So I'm just going to press OK for that and then tap it again. And there we have it. So we've got the text is showing through because the top layer no longer has a background, but the bottom layer is still visible. So you can still see the background of the bottom layer. And there you have it. How to create a really quick masthead for a magazine or newsletter. Have fun. 